Oh my god. What's up, kid? How you doing, man? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I've just really been uh, chilling for the most part. I've been taking it pretty, pretty easy this past week. This week has not been that friendly towards long. So I think me and Austin have been, you know, just kind of like I noticed today, like this afternoon, like things were starting to get fired up. But, yeah. um, you know, before the rest of the week, like there was not that much. Dude, I got I got to tell you if you haven't seen my commentary ever seen I've been posting for like 3 days in a row long so you got to take a you got to ease off the gas pedal right now. Yeah. Like, this is it. like where did I say I think these are all the charts today. Bro, I am yeah. not kidding. This is not a friendly long. This is this is not a long friendly time. Like no. like we can even go through some of these if you want. Oh like, yeah, for sure. You know, man, I love though Harry that you're really kind of like Dude, you know, I, I just seen you grow so much as a trader over the years, man. And you just know when to press, man, and you really know when not to. Yeah. And look at this. What are you gonna do with this? I know. Like BT BT, you get that like VWAP reclaim, but like the last like eight VWAP reclaims haven't really worked that well in the afternoon. So like I didn't really want to get stuffed on. Right. These so ones Yeah, these ones seem to be working. So I mean that's good like maybe tomorrow I'll like check in in the afternoon and see what's kind of running. But I mean, I'm okay. Like I don't have any FOMO right now. I'm not slamming in BTBT at 820 because I want <laughs> a trade, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm completely fine. Well, you know what, man, let's, let's talk about that right now for a second. So what got you as a long, but see for anybody who doesn't know us yet, and you're kind of just looking at MIC, I'm a short seller guy. So T Bradley 90, I'm a short selling trader. And, and uh, Harry is a long bias, small cap trader. So we're kind of like opposing biases, but we're also very, um, I, I would say apathetic to each other and just very, again, it's, it's a cohabitating experience of when we have our edge and like, Harry, how did you get so confident or comfortable um, when you know the opportunities out there not to rush in and not to get FOMO? Like, what did you do, bro? What works for you? Cause I see you with like monk level controls your FOMO these days, man. Yeah. Um, I think really for the most part is just really kind of adapting to the market conditions. Like if you watch Austin's webinar every week, he kind of talks about like how the conditions have been and like, um, what's been kind of going on. And I think for me, it's just really been that like I've lost so much trying to press hard in markets that just kind of weren't there or I've been like stopped out because my risk is pretty tight. But like when you stop out 10 cents, like 10 times, you're still losing a dollar. So for me, I've always like kind of said to myself, okay, you know, I don't need to press hard in markets that, you know, aren't really fitting my type of style. It's okay. Like the markets kind of run in cycles. And right now it's not really a great long cycle. So like, I don't really press hard, but like, if you look at something like BTBT that goes from like 7.6 to 9.2, like that's the reason why I started longing was because it was really kind of moves like that, that I really loved. Oh, like that oh, on this day. oh no, yeah. just like just on the day, on the day after. Yeah. On a day like that too, like on a, a move like that from like 5.8 to nine is amazing. Like even like the, the kind of uh, VWAP reclaim that happened today too. Like those are all like amazing, great moves, but I like just, just find my- clean deviation, everything, like a lot, like volume comes in, you get the over VWAP, you got the clean deviate, like what more can a long ask for, right? Like Yeah, it's 100%. Yeah, no, and that's, those are the setups that kind of made me kind of become a long trader was like, there is some opportunity here and there is some opportunity short. It's just having the ability to kind of recognize when your edge is on and when your edge is kind of not quite there and saying, okay, I'm going to take a step back. Like, I mean, I remember that we were in a market where there were just all hot chicks way above VWAP running. And Alex is like, listen, like, you know, there's nothing I really see today. There's nothing I really like today. And then I was sitting there like, man, I'm pressing on the gas today because I kind of realized, okay, you know, Alex doesn't really see anything that he likes. That kind of confirms to me that, you know, what I'm seeing and that's kind of how I've been like able to kind of like use also MIC as a team with like all the, all the other traders as well. Harry, what would you say, um, you know, maybe I'll even like kind of interview you a little bit for the long traders out there. What would you say your biggest strengths are as a long bias short small or as a long bias trader on small caps? Like, what do you think your greatest strengths are, man? And like, what do you think that they, I mean, I know them, but I just kind of want you to say them. What um, do you think works for you the best, man, every single day when you wake up? Like, what is it that thing that Harry's like, dude, I'm looking for this. I want this. This is it. 
Yeah, I think number one is just looking for stocks that are kind of like above VWAP and saying like, okay, if the trend is downtrending, I'm going to avoid this stock because number one, the trend's downtrending. Number two, you probably have a, a lot of people who are, who are stuck long, who are bagged. Like the number one thing that I, I really want to see is just people who are, you know, who are short, who got in too early, who are trapped and who are kind of like, you know, stuck and they're causing the price to push higher above right. VWAP, up trending. I think that's what I kind of recognize. And then you use the lines and you use kind of everything that you've been taught to kind of like time your entries and kind of, you know, position size and get in there. And I think also like one thing that I love uh, as a long trader is that, you know, when, when we're kind of uptrending and I'm noticing that every single dip is getting bought up, you know, yeah. that kind of confirms my plan and confirms what I love, you know, instead of, you know, trying to long a broken stock that I know Alex and Bao and, you know, James and whoever are just going short into that kind of like whatever whole half dollar VWAP, whatever, um, you know, that's when my edge really isn't on and when my edge really isn't there on stocks like that. No, it, may, it makes sense, man, because the thing that I see you always doing, which I love, dude, because, I, because the, the beautiful thing about MIC, the fact that like we do cohabitate is the fact that you can get multiple perspectives, right? If, if, you know, Harry's like, dude, I'm all over this. I want this on dips and all of us short sellers or, you know, myself or James or Alex are like, dude, I'm not touching this with a 10 foot, foot pole. Like Harry, have fun. Yeah. You're really good, dude. I've noticed you're one of the best I've seen of, of you know, when shorts are trapped. It's not that you just know when trends intact or like volumes coming in, dude, you just know when shorts are trapped. Like you really feel that and capitalize on that a lot. Yeah. And I mean, like, even if, uh, you know, someone wants to go back and like watch BT, BT on demand or whatever, like from today, like you notice that like, um, like when we kind of cleared that area to 7.8 and we kind of held VWAP and we didn't just die right away. First of all, on BTBT, this stock should have kept fading underneath seven. It should have went to 6.6. .6. It should have went to 6.4, but it got saved and we got that life candle. And then we start using VWAP as support. And then we start kind of moving. Like in this type of area, like, you know, okay, we have some people who are short underneath 7.6, who are a natural bidder, who are kind of bidding this price up. And that kind of tells me like, wow. Like we have some people who are short looking for that all day fade, looking for that kind of, um, you know, home run trade for sure. And when they're stuck SSR, you know, we're getting some volume back in the name. That is something that I love. Yeah. The thing, the thing that I love, man, is you're really good at identifying volume. You're like, guys, volume's coming in. I can feel the shorts are trapped. Anyone yeah. that bought, or I'm sorry, anybody that's short at this, I mean, they're underwater, man. Like they're le legitimately underwater. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. because when this happens, you know, Harry, it's like, it's like, dude, think about it. It's like anybody from, you know, shorting from this level to this level, dude, they're underwater as soon as this light candle happens that are looking yeah. for all day faders. Right. And like, yeah. you just know, dude, once you yeah. see a channel like this with volume yeah. coming in, and I always tell people this every single week, I'm like, guys, you must pay attention to volume. I'm going to draw on the volume channel. This is yeah. basically like, if you kind of give an average, this is like the highest in the morning yeah. it's been, right? This is like the yeah. on an average level of the main four or five, maybe yeah. even down here. Look at what this is pushing right here. You yeah. know, you could get a big move or if anything, not so much like, Hey, I can get a big move. Now I can long here. Guys, you got to know to stop out as a short. You got to know that you got, you're really in danger as a short seller. Now when you yeah. see, you know, it's yeah. just, it's very dangerous, man, on specifically a VWAP reclaim like that. And things like SSR obviously always add to the fire. But if the flame's going, yeah, don't be, don't be not stopping out if gasoline's now coming in. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's really kind of like, like in the morning, like when I saw BTBT and it pushed from like 7.4 up above VWAP, I wasn't going to touch that because I was saying, you know what? Every single person who's short or sorry, who's long, from, you know, above 7.8, above 7.6 is getting bailed out. That's telling me, okay, like, I'm not sure if Alex shorted this or not, but like, that's, that's an idea for maybe Alex to want to kind of take and say, okay, I'm looking to kind of go short into a whole dollar, or I'm looking to kind of go short, you know, into something like this, that's already broken because he knows he's going to get that excess supply from all those longs who are stuck, right. you know, plus just the resistance and the whatever, right?
Well, and here's my favorite. We'll we'll pull up FLGC in a second because we're not like rushing to trade. You know, we're kind of just focused on. Yeah. Here's here's what a professional trader looks like, right? So when you're new, let me let me actually give you an example. When you're new, right, Harry, you remember? Oh, we just yeah. intraday, and now we just guess on this, dude. I know you because I know your mind. I've just seen you too long, man. I know that when you see this previous resistance and this fail right here put in the top, there's oh, gone. nothing. There's nothing to tone. There's nothing that Harry's going to be longing after this line. Yeah. And there's, yeah. And there's all of us shorts are going to be interested yeah. on this pop based on yeah. this previous resistance, which yeah. matches this one. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I don't trade pre-market or I do trade pre-market, but like, I don't recommend people to short pre-market, but even the same thing happened on BTBT in that pre-market where we got over that kind of high a day right, we right. stuffed and then it ended up being an okay setup. Like I'm not saying like go short things that are overview up in the pre-market, but same thing kind of happened there as well. Guys. I mean, sometimes it takes the most simplest understanding or, or price action on chart, if this is live, right? Let's, let's just say live, like I won't even scroll up to there. When this is live and say we're up to this point and you go, okay, this is a major ceiling to break. And I mean yeah. major, man, because that's where it failed for a day, you know, a whole day after and became kind of a low hanging fruit the next day. This is where it really topped out in the immediate yeah. one. If we have a problem here and then it really puts in a top, which it did, or a top like this, which it did, now it's real trouble. And sure, it could be saved, but when you're on like, you know, day three or, you know, it's just yeah. not, again, it's, it's having trouble and it's not the first day of the move and you're losing momentum. This is the time where Bow and Stefan are right there into yeah. this resistance. You know what I mean? And Harry's probably easing off the gas pedal as a wall. Oh, I'm saying nada. I'm not touching this. <laughs> exactly. I'm, not, I'm not touching this at all. Exactly, no, man, afraid. exactly. And the, and here's the thing about chasing guys is le, like, let's Harry, let's break down chasing on both sides of the equation right here. Right. Yeah. So you were patient as a short seller and I'm looking and I'm waiting for the top and I get excited and I'm like, okay, this is fine. It's stuffed here. It's finally topping out. Oh dude, this is going to get weaker. It's going to break the yeah. I short here. I short here and I short here again. It's too early, bro. You're going to stop out when, if you just waited for, and let me just redraw for you because it, when it comes to trading, entries are basically everything of confidence when you know that this base and this base are the two major resistance lines you can just eyeball it and draw them out yep. this is your area to short if you're shorting anywhere below there you're just asking to get squeezed and stop out this is where you should be shorting yep. upwards of a stop right there at high a day it's that simple and harry where would you say if i was a long trader where am i chasing on the long side Oh, where are you chasing on the long side? Yeah, uh, like probably on the short side, like where on, on, from your perspective on a different bias, where am I fucked up as a long because I'm too eager? I think, um, oh, well, too eager would have been, you know, straight up 930, the open, that would have been super too eager. Totally. And, and I think also if you're trying to chase into like the VWAP deviation is, a, uh, it's a, it's a kind of, uh, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a blessing and a curse, right? Because right. you know the shorts is, are trapped, this but is we're, getting, we're getting over overextended now. We're getting too overextended where it's like, you don't necessarily want to be shorting there because we haven't got a top out candle, but you don't necessarily want to be longing into 950 because you're putting yourself at like almost excess risk. Like anytime we're deviated from VWAP, I'm like, okay, what's my max, what's my max risk here? Any, your max risk has to be VWAP if we're super, super over VWAP. And if you're not willing to take that, you know, 8.4 to 9.4 dollar a share risk, which is what you ended up kind of getting here, right. you know, you've just got to say, okay, I missed this move. That's all right. I can get the next one. Or I can look for a first bounce at like 8.4 where all these kind of shorts are shorting in prematurely. And I'm going to hope that we kind of move a bit higher and we kind of squeeze them out. Well, and funny how VWAP, which correlates to basically almost the 850 line with this pre-market top, this is where it bounced. These are the levels where a very patient short like Harry is like, look, it's putting it top, but there is a bounce I can milk out of this because this is a yeah. long deviation from highs. If you, if you long up here, you're kind of chasing and could it made you a little money? Yeah, but you got to be quick. It's almost yeah. like chasing a farmer alert. Like it's just too quick of a trade to be like, hey, let me long yeah. here when it breaks up. That's chasing. 
But dude, Harry knows, I've seen him do this many times, is I mean, yeah. I can probably get a bounce off support here on a nice real kind of, you know, just a, just yeah. a nail and bail. 100%. Dude, 100%. I mean, th that's why I love having you on, man, is we can literally tear apart a chart that's like, where would I do this as a short? Where would I do this as a long? And where yeah. am I fucking up if I'm chasing yeah. on either side, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. It's because we've been in these situations, though, like time and time again, where I'm sure both of us have you know, chased a breakout, you know, following an alert or chase this or chase that. Right. And the more times that you kind of chase and lose, you start to kind of like say, okay, like obviously this isn't working. So I need to be more patient and I need to get a super good entry. And it was that kind of level of thinking and then using the lines and stuff like that. And just like seeing Bow's patience that right. ended up making me into the trader that I am today. So Harry, I already know what you're going to say here, but like, let's talk about it. Dude, check this out. You think to any longs out there longing right here, what's your advice? <laughs> I don't chase into the 10. No, it's a please, chance. please watch. It's going to stuff 10. You know, you're going to, you know, right here, here it comes, here comes the stuff. There's right the here. stuff. There's the There's stuff. stuff. Right there. There we There's go. The you chase it. If you're longing <laughs> yeah. here. There, There's, the 10 stuff. There's the stuff, dude. <laughs> Let's see. There it comes. Yeah, here we go. Here comes the stufferoo. And, you know, that's just not something that you want to be. Uh, I mean, in this type of situation, I'm probably not looking to long either. I mean, maybe around 8, 8.5. But... Yep, yep. I was just going to say this is probably your starters of a long in yeah. work of, like Harry said, yeah. if you long something that's way over VWAP, you've got to give to VWAP because you've got to give yourself that range for a bounce. And you yeah. got still. You know, I would say, dude, I wouldn't like anything as a long. And obviously, guys, nothing we're talking mm -hmm. about is investment advice too long. We'll just give you chart yeah. examples. But dude, that stuff a at ten. The problem yeah. when you're a new trader, the stuff a <laughs> The problem as a new trader is how many times did I do this in my first couple of years? How many times yeah. did Alex? How many times did you hear? And we get dumped yeah. on because we don't understand what chasing is. Yeah, yeah, that's that is not a good. Um, you know, just not a good way of trading. Like even a, what was that stock today? It was like, what did it start with? Let me pull up the, I think I have a list somewhere. Hold on. I thought I did. GRVI. Like oh, that's a good yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. No, let's talk about that for a second. Let's, let's talk. GRVI dude. So one of the yeah. members actually DM to me today and he goes, Tosh, was this something uh, to shorten the immediate morning. And I said, you know why I didn't like it, bro? And I'll tell you why. It's because we didn't have a major hot chick taking attention, which is why I think this got actually such a squeeze out of it. But I said, the dude, when you, okay, so like this is my bread and butter, right? When nothing is running, yeah. when nothing is taking attention, like obviously you have four or five stocks up and you're running, if yeah. nothing is the major hot chick where I'm like, dude, Harry's all over this fucking Steven or no Steven's shorts. Out. All of, Aloha's all over this. All of our major longs are all over this. And I don't want to be yeah. touching this. If that's not happening, then I need to wait for this amateur squeeze to get out the short sellers. Number one. And then I wait for that candle and then you hit pops and it's textbook, bro. It's yeah. textbook. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, Steven did a great job. No, oh, that's time. what I'm talking about, Steven. That's MIC process, baby. That is fucking it, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you guys, that's it, dude. That's it. Oh, and yeah. then he follows along a downtrodden chart with a serious deviation under VWAP using the channel. This is the channel. This is what happened. This is where if Val wasn't drunk off his ass last night, this is where he'd be hitting all yeah. the Yeah. Like, <laughs> this yeah. is the shit that we're talking about, guys. There's a channel. Here's the first channel right here. And right here, you know, a bow would have been all over here, all over here, and then all under here, all under here. Like this yeah. is MIC process, man. And it's so simple to teach, yet people want to overcomplicate. Ask Elon Musk what the hydraulics and are of the stock and the yeah. rocket fuel and break it down to a neuroscience. It's like, oh. I forget what Austin said today about something, but he said, no, that guy needs to write his PhD before he can start trading. And <laughs> that was you, laughing man. so hard. I'm telling you, bro. I, you know, guys, let me, let me simplify trading for you in a nutshell. And Harry, tell me if you agree with this. If you get a hot chick and hit the low hangers, it's short. Yeah. If there's no hot chick and something may take a major attention, don't short anything until it squeezes first and you get a major top out. It's as yeah. simple as that. That's shorting in a nutshell. 
Harry, yeah. simpl simplify longing for us, bro. Simplify longing. Um, well, longing, you're going to have one major stock, usually, that is taking attention and you know, the other stocks are going to be broken, low hangers, you know, the one that you want to be focusing on is the one that's taking attention. Now, I didn't get in GRVI today. But like, I was definitely saying like, don't just because you didn't get GRVI does not mean that you should be longing BTBT or any Seriously. of those other shitters, because <laughs> those ones are not gonna work. You know, it's better to just kind of step away in that situation. You know, it's stock selection, guys. And the reason, you know, look, the reason why sometimes we post stuff like this is never to brag. It's to show you what process does. And the only reason yeah. why Alex made 100K this day, 36, 18, 27. I mean, these are life-changing numbers for almost anybody, actually, not just the average American. These are like life-changing for even some millionaires, right? Like, that's crazy, yeah. right? 200 yeah. grand a month. You think Alex did any of these kind of numbers? deviating from process or guessing or winging it or saying maybe i'll fight the hot chick or no dude this is simple process of stock selection this is yeah. simple process of knowing that hey you know what we're in a market right now where i gotta tell you um shorts are really having a good time and longs are kind of on their toes a little bit and that's why he was able to push and have such a good month is we know these kind of cyclical events as traders and Harry knows right now, just like we've been, you know, discussing every single day is, you know, the longs, even if you got a nice move, right? Like, which was, um, Harry, what was the stock we were just talking about? BTBT. Um, BTBT. Um, you know that once something puts in a little bit of a breakout right here, we're not yeah. going to mark it with a ton of momentum to the upside. So maybe this isn't a great long. Like yeah. these are the things that you have to kind of know, and you're going to learn this from, um, you're going to learn this from Aloha Traders webinar specifically because he's always talking about market sentiment, and I love yeah. that. What yeah. market are we in? Okay, if I'm in this market, I need to do X, Y, Z, and baked in obviously always, no matter what the market is doing, baked under your MIC process and your specific process for how you short and how you long. Simple as that. Yeah, because I mean, if you're a long trader and like you make a ton, there were a ton of long traders who made a ton of money, you know, just blindly chasing, following absolutely no process that I talked to. And they ended up kind of joining MIC and like seeing what a real process was because like, you know, they had made money in COVID, but then they ended up losing it all because they had no process, you know, because in that kind of COVID sector, like you could chase random things. And then by the end of the day, they'd be running anyway. So it didn't matter. You know, you could chase this, you could chase that. And like, there were a ton of people that were, um, you know, just making blind money long, but you know, once it started to slow down a little bit, like in April and people were just chasing and getting stuffed on and stuffed on and stuffed on, you know, they needed uh, a kind of process. And that's why they, they came to MIC. Guys, I'll say it like this. Chasers will always make money but they will always give it back. Oh, did it stuff 10? Dude, this, the, you, you just got it live from me and Harry. Like, <laughs> stuff a room. Stuff, stuff a room, bro, the stuff a room. But here's what's happening with the stock. It's way over VWAP. It's got some demand that's at least enough to continue this move. The deviation is strong. This just ain't a fun short yet. There's no reason no. to. There's just no real edge in shorting, you know? We're in the last hour of the day. We got 30 minutes before close. Guys, this could see 18 before it close. Like, I don't know, right? Like, we don't, if you don't know, you don't fucking trade. There's yeah. no exception. If you don't know and you're like, well, I think it was, and I guess, and I'm trick or treat, you know? Dude, what? No, you don't know. So don't yeah. trade. That's the problem. Yeah. How many yeah, people got no. dumped on at 9, 50, and 10? I wonder. Yeah. Probably yeah. loads of people in chat rooms that are pumping this bullshit. Yeah. And there, I mean, there's going to be areas on charts where like, it's not a clear defined short and it's not a clear defined long. And exactly like what you just said, if you don't know, don't, don't trade it. Right. <laughs> like if you can't tell what side is trapped, you're probably the person that's going to get trapped. You know? <laughs> Dude, someone needs to literally quote that. That is so beautifully said. <laughs> if you go to the side, oh my God, that's so, dude, say it again. If you, fuck, I don't know what the dude, fuck I, was, I just I was, said. I was trying to repeat it. I just forgot it. If dude. you don't know which side of the trap is on, you're going to get trapped. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, if you someone, don't know what side is trapped, you're going to get trapped. Someone needs to literally put that on a billboard and go put yeah. that down like Trader Lane and Trader Avenue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, oh, like, I mean, that is just it.
Bro, that is one of the best quotes I think I've heard in three and a half years. Like, you know how Aloha is famous for, dude, I'm telling you, I think that's your new quote, man. Aloha's that's my famous, quote. Bro, Aloha is famous for frontside shorts require frontside covers. Dude, that's literally the Harry Haas Golden Grail quote. That is yeah. so brilliant, dude. If you yeah. don't know which side is trapped, you're probably the one that's going to be trapped. That's so good. That's it. That's it, bro. That's it. You don't Harry, know what side. Got you're, it. It's your bias, bro. You're, you're officially a made man. You're an Avenger now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, man. This is fun, dude. I just, I, yeah, I love bro. breaking down process. I love the different, it's just fun, man. You know, as traders, we're all trying to learn together and God damn, man, after seven years, I'm still, how can I get better? How can I reach yeah. different perspectives? Like, what is Harry seeing? What am I not seeing? And yeah. you realize that you really open your life to a lot of possibilities of, I'm not going to live in ego because I don't know everything. Who does? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think when you kind of humble yourself and, and say, okay, like, um, I'm not, I'm not in, in, in MIC to get a PhD and and to do whatever I'm in MIC to make money and use the lines and use the watch list. Like that is where the kind of magic happens. That's it. And, but when you try and like reinvent the wheel again and again and again, and like people are asking me like, what about this moving average across this deviation, whatever. I'm like, bro, just pay attention to some simple, simple things and you can make money. But if you're trying to create, you know, a new indicator, you know, that's probably not going to work. You know, you don't have like a PhD at Harvard. And even the people who do have PhDs at Harvard, I'm sure they couldn't become traders because they'd overthink everything. You know? They would overthink everything, bro. I would much rather take an idiot over a genius. Yeah. Yeah, no, those guys will make the most money. Like, you know. Give me idiot savants, not geniuses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, dude, yeah. that's so funny, man. It's, it's funny, guys. There's a commonality that we say all the time. It's kind of brutal. It's kind of blunt, but you know, some of the best traders, man, are idiots. They're just disciplined. Yeah. You know, the smartest guys in the room are usually overthinkers and they're going to, you know, what do you want to be right? Do you want to be right or do you want to be profitable? Which one yeah. do you want? They're very different. They're hey, very they, different. They are because, you know, if you want to be right, you want to be right, you want to be right. That equates to, I'm not going to stop out. I'm not going to stop out. I'm not going to stop out. And then that equates to, I've just blown up. Which you know? is code word for I've learned everything I need, so I'm not open to learning new things. Yeah, yeah, hundred right? percent, dude. I, yeah. I'm telling you, and you can apply that to anything in life. So right now, yeah. you know, I, me and Harry I genuinely don't know if this will continue higher or go lower. My thought mm -hmm. is, if this late in the day, it's already extended this much, we'll probably see lower. But dude, I wouldn't take a short on this. I don't know. And that's what I'm it, thinking. It's over yeah, right? Oh, like nine point five. It's, looks to be struggling a bit with that level. I mean, I mean, like I'm more, I'm more inclined to say it should go up, but it's so late in the day that I'm cut. Like, but again, it's a 50, 50 mentality, right? There's really no yeah. fit for short. And it's just so inflated for a long that I guess I could see maybe a bounce at 850 area to maybe VWAP to, you know, get a great scale or a nice nail and bail. But, yeah. you know, you got to be patient for that, guys. You can't be rushing in right now. Even now would still be chasing on this stock long. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. I would definitely not go long here. You know, short and 50-50, yeah. late in the day. Yeah. It's stuffed twice, probably going to work. But. It's too late in the day to place a short. I'd be all over Bow right now. Like, Bow, stop fucking short and go back to bed because he'd want to hit the 10 line. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, it's that too late in the 10. day, bro. <laughs> that would be at 9, cover 875, into 10, cover 925. That's exactly right. Him and Stefan yeah. have bibs and forks ready at 10. And I'm like, just chill, guys. Just, yeah. you, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Every, every month or so, every probably two weeks, I was like, man, great call on the short side, Jay. You gotta, you gotta start shorting. <laughs> I'm like, no, bro, I'm selling into those calls. <laughs> For real, dude. Oh man, that's so funny. Guys, I just think if I was trying, if I like, you know, I'm, I'm short in one account, I'm long in another, like that'd be wild. Like that oh, could not work. Yeah, the, the furus that are, dude, the guys that are starting a new service, they're like, I got to get a big following. I'm going to long and short 2,000 yeah. people right here. And whichever one I'm right on, I'm going to post to my Twitter account and Instagram like I made a great profit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, long one account. Yeah, I knew the long was coming there. I, I knew, knew it. it. And, and then it goes short. He's like, I knew the squeeze was coming, man. And see, that's why I did it. Like, he's got yeah. a freaking bio ready for written for either. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
Guys, do you have any questions for me and Harry? Do you do you guys have any questions? We can transition a little bit and have questions yeah. time. Too fun, man. I love having you on, man. It's always Oh good. no, I love it too. Also, weekend mentoring. Like, don't Ooh. forget. That's tomorrow, coming tomorrow, up right? too. Uh what day is today? I can't, Thursday? I the, oh, I'm not tomorrow. Sorry, I meant this week. Oh yeah, yeah. This week. I was like, shit, man. This week went by pretty no, damn no, fast. I, Dude, I said it earlier. I can't believe, like, I keep, I don't know why I keep thinking today's Friday. It just feels very strange to me on, like, day and statistical analysis, whatever. But it's this week. So next week, we're not going to have one, guys. But this week, we are. Uh, I'm going to come on this week. Harry and I are going to break it down, just like we're doing now. Yeah. For anybody who's a member, um, this is your chance. So submit your charts. And, uh, dude, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it, man. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, no, I love it. And I think also, like, you know, just going over stuff. Also, the original, the OG weekend mentoring, when it was just in chat, I remember I'd freaking show up, like, hung over. I'd be like, Tosh, I made it, bro. Let's go. Let's get it going. I'd be like, this kid's poor liver, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I don't really drink that much anymore, to be honest. Um, you know, I've probably only drank maybe uh, – I drank last weekend, but the weekend before, it was on Canada Day. And I've been really just trying to kind of limit it and be disciplined because um, I found that it was kind of really just like, I, I'd go like the whole weekend, like hung over and then I'd wake up and it really wasn't that much of a break. So, you know, I've been really trying to focus on kind of like my mental and just really kind of, um, you know, just focusing on my health, you know? I love it, man. I'll, t I'll tell you, cause like, you know, sometimes I get down, like I said, you know, happiness is not a default, right? Everybody's got to choose to be happy. And sometimes it takes specific things for different people, which is eventually and inevitably going to affect your trading for the good or the bad. Yeah. And dude, I just realized recently, man, you know, I got back into cardio and, and on the treadmill, I've just been so much happier, bro. And drinking yeah. a lot more water. And I just realized yeah. that unless you do the things that are going to help your physical body, the, yeah. the mental side of your trading is just going to be obliterated, man. And, and, and yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you right now, like me and Alex are doing like, like this agreement where dude, I got to do 30 days on travel, man. I got to. And, and I'm like, I'm on like day nine and I'm just feeling a lot better, man. So it's like, yeah. if you're unhappy or you're not doing your, or you're not doing well in your trading, guys, eat healthy, stop drinking for a week, get on the treadmill and yeah. you can see results in, in the fucking charts, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it, it, it does really correlate, I think. And you just, you feel so much better and you just trade well. And like, I think also because, because I have that discipline of saying like, okay, like I'm, I'm not drinking for two weeks or I'm not drinking for whatever. Number one, you feel fulfilled, but also the discipline can really transition into your trading That's it. where, yep. where that can help a lot as well, where it's like, even though I don't want to do this or I don't, I don't want to do that you know, that discipline can translate into, I'm not going to take this setup because I know it's a chase and I'm not going to do this because I know that. Right. And that can help out a ton. Dude, health equals wealth, man. And you know, um, every single day, man, we're bad at look, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian in cars is my favorite show of all time. And he yeah. brings on, you know, he's notorious for like, he's a really funny guy, but he actually suffers through some depression. And, yeah. you know, the reason why he does that show is because he does what he loves. And, you know, comedians are really dark people, man. To be funny, you've got to kind of have a dark past, right? And he yeah. brings people on and the whole time, you know, it, it's almost like kind of like a common theme of every show is they talk about what you need to do be, ha to be happy or what makes them happy in their career. And look, you're no different from a comedian. You're no different from a movie producer. Guys, this is a career. If you are a trader that's waking up every single day for years and decades even do me and Alex are going on a decade here in a couple years you need to treat it like a job you need to treat it yeah. like a career and if you don't you're going to be miserable yeah. with your discipline your habits yourself and it's going to show up in your trading there's just no way around it yeah 100 percent. and it's sad but it's true right it's like the people yeah. who come in and wing it and give a little time maybe play video games all day watch a video once a week i mean they're just not going to have the results man this is the ultimate video game so you know, you got to learn how, like Val was saying on the IG, you got to learn how to defeat the bosses and, you know, get the appropriate levels and get the gear. And um, for anybody who's um, a Diablo fan, Diablo 3 is like one of the best video games ever made. I think it's so fucking fun. And I used to play it like crazy. And for anybody who would know, who knows that game, and it's all about leveling up organically and you got to get the right gear. And if you don't have the right gear, like your gear will break and you're fighting bosses with a loincloth, like Val says, and not a, you know, a diamond hand sword, right? Like, so it's just, 
you know, there's just so many metaphors for trading in life and life and trade. Yeah. And I, I see myself in candles all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so that, that's, oh my, that's what I look like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Straight down from that 10 stuff. Crazy, right? Anybody, guys, anybody who chased, and you know, there's a lot of people who did in those Discord yeah. rooms and people were just getting pumped and don't know anything about trading. Yeah. A lot of people are underwater right here. And, you know, some of them are going to diamond holds hand probably to seven here in the coming days, or they're going to make some money on this, develop really bad habits because they got lucky and they're going to have no idea how they made the money. They're just going to yeah. have no idea. So it's, you know, it's kind of one or two options unless you really learn mentorship and how to trade and what to look out for and where to stop out. You know, if Harry was, which he's not right now, cause it's a little late in the day, but if he was looking at an 850 to a 790, you know, maybe a 790 scale for a bounce, yeah. he knows that if his level's broken, he got to stop out because who knows yeah. if they threw an offering and it goes to six, he doesn't want to be caught in that. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I mean, maybe here we could go like a bounce to nine ish. Yeah, um, it's possible. That's why I put the consolidation. I mean, realistically, yeah. like this is the scale zone for a long, like technically. Yeah. Yeah, because you should get one good kind of bounce. I mean, maybe it already happened, 925, 950, but I could see another bounce, like 9, 925, it's, maybe. It's possible. But I wouldn't take it. It's possible, but it's not one of those trades that even if I was a long trader, I'd be enticed to do. Like you said, it's just 250-50, but it is very possible that we could get a nice bounce here or off VWAP, yeah. but that might be all she wrote. This might be all the horsepower she brought today. Yeah, oh, no, I definitely agree. Yeah, it's not one of those trades I'm trying to sneak in in the webinar. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd be like Bow, where you go silent for a little while. I'd be like, yeah. are, are you down at your position, bro? I gotta help you now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I'm not uh, not trying to go long on this one for sure. Guys, five more minutes of question. Who's got questions? Then does anybody have questions for me and Harry? Um, and we'll answer them real quick and we'll wrap up. But uh, yeah, it has been fun, man. Uh, really quick. Yeah, guys, no, I love guys. it it's great, right? Like it's just like podcast style personalities and different stuff. Let me, uh, really quick guys, just for anybody who maybe has to run or split, uh, I'll just do one kind of last announcement is we're doing half off today. You gotta text me. You gotta text my number 213-458-5997, text half off. If you're not a member and you're looking to come in, we're going to half off the first month. Alex hit such a wonderful month, 200 grand plus. He's just feeling super generous, man. We're trying to give back as much as we can. Dude, we lose money on those freaking science. But I'm telling you right now, man, we want to make sure everybody's got the resources they need. We'll get you in the club, see if it's right for you. And if you have any questions, man, book a free consultation on the website, man. I'm telling you. But today only, we're doing half off. So, <laughs> Johnny, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Johnny goes D three sucks D two. I'm like, dude, I I never played D one and D two, but D three, in my opinion, is fun as shit, dude. <laughs> but I hear it. You're a diehard. I'll bet. I, I get it. I, I was never around for those days. Guys, last last couple minutes. Questions? No questions. We'll wrap it up. But if you guys have questions, now's the time. Harry's got yeah, a, his girlfriend, and I got some emails I got to associate with. Yeah, she's on her way home right now. She just texted me. I ate too many crackers. I don't feel well. I'm like, oh fuck. Oh no, dude. You gotta you gotta make her like a latte or something to soak up the crackers and then then it's back to Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's so funny when you were talking about the video game, because like I mean, like when I was kind of younger, like this kind of was my video games and what I was trying to learn. And because I saw my grandfather, my grandfather, how I kind of like got, got started in trading was like, I always knew that I wanted to kind of do something in finance because my grandfather read me this book in like grade three, grade four, where this guy talked about how he would mow lawns. It was called like Lawn Boy and he would just reinvest and reinvest and reinvest all those kind of profits. And he grew a business and invested in the stock market and whatever. And then I remember my grandfather, we were in like uh, grade six. And he's like, you know what paid for this trip? And I was like, what paid for this trip, grandpa? And he's like, the dividends from this stock. The whatever, dividends! You know? Yeah. And I was like, what a legend. So that's what kind of got me in super, super at an early age. I was like, shit, I need to do this. I need to do this. Like, you know, and that's what kind of put me on that path to kind of like learn all this stuff. Dude, you know, I, you, know you know, what's funny, you know, you, um, uh, hold on real quick, Harry. Uh, SK, you just asked if there's an annual promo right now. Right now, I am doing something. Text my number, brother, and I'll get you situated. Uh, I'm doing something cool for annuals. So definitely text me as well. Yes. Um, and then for the guys that want to come in monthly, yes, it is first off for the first month. Um, but back to what you're saying, Harry, it's funny because I've yeah, yeah, for sure. 
dude, I've noticed a commonality of, bro, I have so much stock market history in my family, bro. Of course yeah. I have stock market. My grandpa was a stockbroker. My, yeah. my other grandpa dude made like $50 million options trading in his lifetime and pissed a lot of it away, but like made a fuck ton of money. Um, my Holy dad shit. was a day trader for 20 years, dude. But like oh one of those God. guys, no, dude, when I say day trader, bro, I'm not talking about the shit that you and I do. I'm talking about, hey, UVXY looks like a good buy and hold. <laughs> like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. And, and, and it's just comical, man. I've taught my dad over the years so many things. He has probably more bad habits than anyone I've ever met in my life. Oh my I, I literally did. I had to train <clears throat> out of what it means to be a bag holder and like pump and dump shit city. But I have like anybody that I notice who's like a mod or a mentor or anybody that gets into trading, dude, their yeah. family had some sort of background um, about trading. And it was inevitable we'd get in, of course, dude. It's like the yeah. siren song. Yeah. 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 No, a hundred percent. It was like inevitable that I was going to find this shit, you know, one day. Yeah. So I, yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. So, you know, the funny it. thing, the funny thing I will say about the new generation that is apes and moonshots and crypto yeah. and I mean, they're actually getting an introduction into investing in the stock market. Like it's actually really kind of inadvertently funny because because I mean, at least they're getting interested. Yeah. I love this. Like once you kind of start trading a little bit, I think you do end up getting hooked, you know, in some way, like you either start trading, you blow up and you stop, but it's always in the back of your mind for the rest of your life <laughs> yeah, dude, seriously. or, or you start trading and then you keep going and, and gradually learn and you either keep doing the wrong things or you get educated and kind of find a, you know, a process that works for you. Um, but either choice is going to be fine with me because I love the volume. You know, I love it. Like, I mean, those people chasing into 10, you know, are filling into my sell orders, right? You know, and, you know, if you want to learn proper process, you can sell up there with me. You know, there's always going to be people chasing at the tops and selling at the bottoms. But if you don't want to be one of those guys, you know, it's definitely time to kind of learn and get into, you know, a proper process for sure. Dude, dog eat dog, man. Someone's got to lose money to get the other yeah. person to make money. It's just the blunt, honest truth. Yeah. Um, you know, as much as we want everyone to succeed, it, obviously that we can reach our MIC. I mean, I need people in the stock market to lose so I can make money. You know what I mean? So yeah. we take advantage of stupidity and things yeah. like that, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick, dude. Benjamin, yeah. my dad learned OTC trading from Modern Rock in 2008. He's still- That's crazy. insane. That's crazy, dude. Oh, bro, you should definitely message Bao and tell him. Bro, that's um, so sick. Yeah, definitely. Dude, here, I'll tag Bao. That's so fucking sick, dude. Oh, my yeah. God. Bao probably knows, but if he doesn't, that you just never know how many lives you're going to indirectly and directly touch. Like, that's insane. Man, Bao would love that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, Bao would love that. Yeah, SK, just email me, buddy, tosh at myinvestingclub.com because uh, I know you're international. Um, so for anybody who's trying to reach me that is international and you can't necessarily reach this number, just take a screenshot, um, myinvestingclub.com, Tasha, my investing club. Um, and we'll get you situated, man. If you want annual or if you, um, for the guys that want to come in on monthly, whatever you're looking for, man, we'll talk about it. And if you want to book a call, go to the website and book free consultation call. I'll get on the phone with you. I used to do random time slots and guys, honestly, I'd have people call me at 2 AM and I'd be like, Oh, fuck. like now yeah. it's just it, look, if, if you got a time slot, you're definitely going to get a call if you're not please book one because I, I you know when you when you got 20 people calling you a day man i gotta have a work-life balance man seriously i gotta i got yeah. i'm still just yeah. a normal dude who trades man let alone yeah <laughs> helping them yeah. Man. there is a part where you know even ex-girlfriends have been like do you just fucking answer the phone all day and i'll be like damn girl chill <laughs> yeah no i know and that's what uh it was so funny because like um my girlfriend broke her phone and like we were both like kind of like she was going on a trip and I was going on a trip for the weekend and but she didn't have a phone and I was like you can take mine and she's like no 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 you're always on slack you're always working like I can't do that and I was like no please fucking take it like, <laughs> I'm, I'm good for a week off like or a weekend off trust me dude I'm Jesus. You, you you like boundaries in life man like like, so, and, and it sucks too, right? Cause like me down out are so inclined to help people, dude. Sometimes yeah. I'll be like, all right, I'm shutting it down. I need to breathe tonight. I need to, yeah. but, but I feel like if members want to contact, I'm looking at my phone at like 1am, like, do I have any unanswered DMs? Like I feel bad, yeah. but I'm like, dude, yeah. 
I would drive myself into a mental asylum unless I shut off at a certain hour, right? And then I'm, yeah. you know, that's just the nature of, I think anybody who owns a business where you have people that want to ask questions and it's, and remember it's international. So some guys are calling me at 2 a.m. I have to silence my phone at night just because of it while they're, you know, in a time zone where they just woke up and I get it, but I'm like, dude, fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. hundred uh, percent. It's just funny guys. But uh, look, we're here to help as much as we can, man. I don't know how to explain that it's any better than we did, but Harry, thanks so much for coming on, man. Let's shut it down. No problem. Awesome. Yeah, for on, sure. And I really yeah, I love appreciate it. your perspective, man. I really do. No problem. Love it. Bro, do your thing. Go chill with your girl. Get her some freaking, I don't know, make her a latte or so make her a coffee. And uh, yeah. <laughs> then it's back to fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Thanks so <laughs> much, Tosh. Interpret that as you will, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely will. Thanks All so right. much, Tosh. See All right. Buddy. See ya. Guys, I will catch you later. Uh, text me or set up a call if you have any questions. We'll, we'll do the damn thing. We'll get you situated. We'll trade like monsters. Uh, but hopefully you'll have to learn before you trade like a monster. <laughs> and uh, I just love you guys, man. Every single Wednesday, this is the highlight of my week. I get to, you know, I, it's like a therapy set for me, man. I get to vent, I get to talk, we get to podcast, I get to chill with my friends. This is it, man. This is it. This is fucking it. So we'll do it next week again. Anyone who wants to come on in, you know where to find me, guys. Catch you next week.